Guys, welcome back to another ESL podcast, man. It has been a long time since I've done a live. So for those of you who are listening to me on the ESL podcast, uh, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I did these probably during August when I actually had a lot of free time and now things have just been thrown all over the place. So now I don't have, you know, enough time. But today... I ended up reconnecting with the student I had given a consultation to. And as I was speaking to her, you know, she told me that, you know, at the end of September, she ended up having, you know, difficulty on her IELTS. And unfortunately, she only got a six band in the IELTS in regards to speaking. Now, goddamn flies. Anyways, in regards to that, she needs a seven. So when I was, of course, if you listen to her, you would probably say, wait, how is that possible? How could you possibly get a six band? So what I normally do with a lot of my students, I kind of run through things like, okay, what is it exactly are you having difficulty with, you know, and I run by some very difficult topics and questions so I could get a general get, uh, you know, gist of it all. And what I ended up realizing with her was the fact that, she has problems hesitating. She has po uh, problems like thinking on her feet, thinking very quickly. So as I was speaking to her, uh, I started giving her, again, a lot of random, you know, random uh, topics and whatnot. And I realized, you know what? This could be a very good game. This could be a very good game for a lot of people out there. Uh, who need help with thinking quickly on their feet and how they're able to assess different questions. And you have to do it very quickly because even if you, with the speaking part two, if you don't have those capabilities, it's going to end up, it's going to end up being very problematic, right? So as I am quickly hurrying up and sharing all of this, and you guys are probably going to see this just about everywhere. Just want to say thank you so much for coming on. And for those of you who uh, will be coming on live, uh, thank you so much. And so what I'm going to do here and what this podcast, what this video is for, well, basically what I'm going to be covering today is the good old fact that what is, and of course, again, you guys are probably, you know, realizing that, oh, he's actually a little bit behind. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Three minutes in. Let's get started. <sighs> okay. So again, one of the main difficulties that a lot of people have, okay, in regards to, you know, uh, what is it? Like some of the, you know, the topics is you have to somehow rewire your brain is what I'm trying to tell you. So I'm going to be going over a number of different topics here and how you can play this game at home. I'm going to call it IELTS Impromptu Topics. That's right, people. Now, I have no idea where I've come up with the name. I have no idea where I'm going to go with the name. It doesn't matter what the name is. The fact is that this can improve your ability to think very quickly. Now, with an impromptu speech, if you guys are unaware of that, this is something that a lot of people have to do like throughout school and university in America. Not so much. But if you're in a speech class or a communications class, this kind of throws you off and it gives you the ability to think and think very quickly. So again, with that being said, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hurry up and screen share and we're going to we're going to go through some of these topics so that you're able to um, again. What is this? Oh, I hate man. StreamYard, I haven't done this in a long time. So anyways, OK. So I'm adding this to the stream. Okay, so you guys are basically now seeing what I am seeing. So again, this is available on my blog. If you guys want to see the list of topics, again, this is the list that I have compiled um, throughout, you know, a couple of books I had and I just created it, right? So these could have been different topics and different sentences, uh, these could have just been overall topics and some of them I do just create, uh, again, drawbacks and benefits, agree, disagree. It could be very similar to also the writing task too. So if we look at this list and for everyone who's possibly listening to me on my ESL podcast, this list could be very difficult, but if you, again, 
this is a nice little fun game and you could do this on a routine basis. You can even create your own index cards, although I'm going to create a number of them. So stay tuned for that. But nonetheless, get some index cards, okay? A stack of them. It could be, I don't care, 25, 50, 100, whatever it may be. If you're not very good with thinking on your feet, I will advise you, okay? Or I suggest you doing this because this, again, like I've, I'm going to reiterate again and over and over, think quickly. I realize going through that specific, you know, going through those questions today with my student, she had a lot of hesitation, but also the structure was a problem. Now, me, I've been able to rewire how I think. And what do I mean by that? Well, it's simply the fact that I think of things or there are words like a word of association that goes along with some of these vocabulary terms. So let me go over the first one, challenge and experience. The two or maybe three, four, big, five, whatever biggest challenge and experiences has come uh, or have come here in Thailand. Okay. And that's simply because I had to overcome so many different issues, right? So when I think challenge and experience, the first thing that comes to mind was moving to Australia on a one year working holiday visa. Now, when I think challenge and experience, I think Australia. Okay. The two most challenging experiences in regards to Australia, fitting in and finding myself. So, what you would do and with this game, okay? You'll get the index card, okay? You'll be with your friend and you'll say, oh, damn, challenge and experience. Three, two, one, go. Speak for one minute. If this is the first time that you're answering a question like this, I don't want you to speak in structures such as like a speaking part three or a speaking part, you know, a part three or a part two, right? But just speak freely. I call this free speaking. It's like free writing. Free writing, I would do that back in fifth grade. I don't know why they didn't employ that in high school because it is very, very important. But free speaking is just you speaking about things that you don't speak about often, just freely for one minute. So this could be index cards in, in regards to, okay, we're doing free speaking today. Or this could be index cards in regards to, hey, speaking with structure. So... Me, it's very hard for me to speak very, very freely because I do speak with structure. Obviously, I am a teacher, a trainer, a coach, all these other things. So in regards to that, what I have here, challenge and experience, Australia. Two, fitting in and, oh my God, what was the other one? Fitting in and finding myself, okay? So challenge and experiences, three, two, one. So the most challenging experience I had endured out in Australia when I first arrived back in May of 2011 was finding myself and also fitting in. So finding myself, this revolves around me fitting in also. And because I have, like everyone else, a very unique personality. But when I went to a country where they don't show their personality, such as how Americans do, I felt like something was wrong with me. I felt like I was constantly trying to make friends, but people kept saying, uh, I don't really want to, you know, be friends with you. Let me give you an example, a real quick one. I worked at a dental office. I was supposed to go with two women along with some other staff at that dental office to a bar for my final getaway for my final. Okay. This is my last two weeks in Australia. But what ended up happening is one of the girls by the name of Janelle said, I really don't want to go. And I'm like, is there something wrong with me? So this was one of the most critical, like the, the, one, of, one of the things that I never had the opportunity of getting over until I came here to Thailand. There you go. That's me with a little bit of structure, okay? I mentioned very briefly, um, again, I talked about finding, my, well, I guess you could say very briefly with finding myself, but I talked more about the challenge of me fitting in in Australia. See, that's kind of like a free speaking along with a uh, just a little bit of structure. Okay, that's number one. So index card down, flip it over, whoever else, they would literally just grab that index card, flip it up, and your next one would be learning English. So talk about all things learning English. Okay, so you would say, all right, so learning English, the most difficult part about learning English would be this and this. This because of this, 
this because of this. This is like associations, okay? Now, if I switch this up, and I've talked about this before, learning Spanish, okay? So I'm going to switch it up, and I'm going to give you some more examples to how you could reword this. So if I were to pick up that index card that said learning Spanish, I would say, okay, so the most difficult parts of learning Spanish is definitely the verb conjugation and using it on a routine basis. So with verb conjugation, I didn't realize how difficult it was until I got to my Spanish two class, which is like the second class in my second year. And I realized that a lot of the verb conjugations, I just never really understood it, nor did the teacher take the time to explain it to us. She only did everything based on test, test, test. However, oh, I'm sorry. In addition to that, you see how I'm using linkers to provide that coherence. Um, using it on a routine basis is also was also, I believe, was difficult at the time. Fast forward into present day, it's actually or was a great opportunity and very easy because I lived in Las Vegas where there are a number of Spanish-speaking individuals out there from Mexico, El Salvador, Honduras, all those other places. So I ended up having, I ended up realizing only in, you know, in present day that I kind of hindered my own success by not learning Spanish because it wasn't looked at as a passion. It was looked at more as passing a test. So I talked about difficulties. Okay. I gave two sides to it, but then I gave a very, very irrelevant. Okay. At the very end, I talked about, you know, uh, you know, I fast forward into today. It was very, it hindered my overall success because if I had learned about Spanish back then, I would have, you see what I mean? But it was a bit, it was really irrelevant. But again, people, the object of this game, of this index car game, for all of you out there who are possibly will watch this, will listen to this wherever, is for you to just speak freely about these topics. So to give you three more topics or four more before, um, what is it? A family you, you take after most or a family member you take after most. Um, other topics would be like future studies. Okay, benefits and drawbacks to international aid organizations. Uh, something you've been doing a long time. The disadvantages for and uh, for online auction sites. This is like eBay. I don't know if people still use eBay. Um, a family member you take after most. Or how about your childhood neighbors? So this was a very interesting one for me too. So again, you pick up that index card, childhood neighbor. This is going to associate you and, and it should bring you back to the event. And whereas there was an emotional event that had occurred and you remember it because the emotion that was back behind it. So I had a number of neighbors and there were a number of unfortunate events with my neighbors. But the last time I had a problem with the neighbor, that was like 12 years ago, right? Well, of course, here in Thailand, but the, mo the most significant problem was me going back and forth with this specific lady that lived right next door that played music at a deafening tone. Literally, the walls would tremble and I would get so angry. And guess what? That still remains a problem with me in present day because anytime I hear very, very loud music, I end up reacting in that same particular way because I need that control. That control meaning shut the music off. I got things to do. Bleep, 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 bleep. See, I'm speaking freely now. This is without structure. I gave you a background. I gave you specific details and I talked about present day. <sighs> Guys, do you understand what I'm talking about? Okay, if you think about the reasons why you go on holiday, do you go on holiday to visit places and immerse yourself in culture? Do you go in a relax, you know, in a very relaxing way? Do you put activities together and visit different, I don't know, um, different mountains? And uh, like if I go to Bali, I want to go beachside. I want to go to a bar out there on the cliff, maybe near Kuta. I would love to go to Mount Bromo, do a night safari. You see what I mean? Why do you go on holiday? Just speak freely about it, okay? Now, working with children in an orphanage, 
Is that something that you would love to do? Why or why not? What do you dislike about science? Okay, I've talked about scientists before back in August and how there's always the scientists saying the scientists say the doomsday clock is coming. All this ridiculousness, right? Uh, new technology and the effects it will have on future employment, right? Now, if you guys are unaware of these types of topics, and I know that topic right there, you guys need to understand. Online learning is another one. So technology affecting future employment, employment in general, online learning and school these are hot topics for 2020 given the fact what's happening around the world so you now for those of you who are like arsenio to be honest with you this uh, extreme diets online learning i don't know much about it well this is why we live in such a beautiful age in regards to the internet because if you look at business insider bloomberg all these different types of very informational uh, newspapers, online newspapers, or, you know, the Harvard Business Review, or even going on YouTube, if you're more of a visual and auditory type of person, you could put in autonomy. So if you go to, uh, what is it, to YouTube, and you write down autonomy, or autonomous jobs for the future, or maybe skills, this was a question that ended up throwing off one of my students. She was asked the question about skills. And right when she was asked about skills, I'm like, dude, you're a nurse. You, none of that was, you know, relative to you because that should be the time where you shine because we know what skills. Okay. Uh, what qualities do nurses need? Okay. Empathy. Okay. We need to talk about values. Also, you need to understand what values are because again, regardless of IELTS, you need to understand what values are. Okay. Because if your values don't line up with the, with someone else's values. There's going to be a lot of problems. And of course, that's the end of a relationship, right? Um, different skills needed for the future, future employment and skills. How can students prepare themselves for the future, given the fact that, you know, what's happening in present day? Um, should, should, future, should students who are graduating now focus more on specific skill, soft skill and hard skill building? rather than just going to university. Uh, how about sabbaticals, taking time off? Uh, again, very, very important stuff. I just wanna say hello to Michelle. Big shout out, I haven't seen you in the longest. I hope all is well. Um, but again, do you understand? Like there was a student who I had brought onto my Facebook page. You guys could go on over there and check that out. Uh, well, I actually shared it, obviously. So her name, was Ping. She felt very out of place because she felt like she didn't want to fit in with society social norms. She felt depressed. She had suicidal thoughts. She wanted to find herself. She said, I'm done. I don't want to go to university. And I'm not going to question her. And I'm not mad at her. I said, what are you going to do? Well, I learned Tagalog. She could speak Philip uh, Tagalog, which is obviously the native tongue of Philippines, right? Not only that, well, she's Thai and she speaks extremely good English. She's trilingual already. Think of the opportunities that she has. So she said, I'm going to take a two and a half year sabbatical. I said, you're going to take a two and a half year sabbatical? She is going to move or has already moved to the Philippines. She's going to live there. She's going to teach students either Thai English or she was going to go somewhere else. I forgot where it was. And then. After two and a half years, she will go to the University of Hawaii at Manoa. See, that's someone who doesn't fit in with society's norms. Again, knowing all these things will help improve your overall storytelling and your ability to think very quickly, people. So again, oh, some very, very critical ones before I sum this bad boy up. Um, business leaders, okay? That was in Cambridge 15. Think of a think of a business owner you know. Talk about someone who owns a business. Talk about someone you know who is famous. Very critical. I know a lot of you out there are like, well, that might not be. Trust me. There are different IELTS exams in different countries, in different cities, in different towns all around the world. They're not going to ask you the same thing that they asked somebody else across the other, uh, you know, on the other side of the ocean. Okay. Climate change, given the fact of what's happening right now, okay, and how everything has literally uh, 
that has uh what is this there are things flying everywhere i hate this sorry okay we're back climate change you see what's happening okay for all of you out there in india you guys know exactly what's happening it's it's a sad story right delhi has reached its peak in regards to just i'm talking oh man it's terrible um Dude, it's equivalent to smoking maybe like 20 packs of cigarettes being out there in the Delhi capital. Um, so again, that's probably something they're going to ask you. They're going to ask you something about pollution, water pollution. So maybe you need to think about, okay, how about let's think about some marine conservation projects or things that can enable you and better you, better the society, perhaps foundations. And this is, again, going back up to what was it that I said over here? Oh, my God. What is it? Not about science. I forgot what it was about. Ah, here we go. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Nope, I can't find it. But anyways, like different, like an orphanage, right? That's something helping society. That's something helping children. How about a marine conservation project? What exactly does that do? And how can that better society? How about pollution in general? Give me some ways that, you know, you could reduce the amount of water pollution right now. Okay. Two things. Give support and examples. Always think in two. So for each of these topics, if I'm if I were to ask you right now, refugee crisis, okay? What's going on with the refugee crisis? Think of two things and let's say, why is it that refugees are consistently leaving their native country? Give me two things. Okay. Obviously starvation. Well, no, not starvation. Famine, which is a very good vocabulary term and uh, lack of employment. Okay. Give me an example of famine. Give me an example of lack of employment. You understand what I'm saying? Endangered species. Okay. Think of the endangered species out here in Thailand. They continue to kill very rare species. Okay. But at the same time, there are different habitats and ecosystems that are being founded around the Nicaragua and Costa Rica area where there are a lot of species that we thought were extinct, but they're not. And they're flourishing because they're untouched by human beings. You see, how about the future of cinema? This is huge talk. This is big talk right now because given the fact that COVID is done, and again, the future of cinema, we don't know what's going to happen. Netflix is doing a profound job and it's not going to put our life at risk. Okay. How about the future of traveling? What about the emergence of virtual reality? How is that going to affect travel in the future? How about business travel? Maybe we won't need to go to the Hong Kongs anymore and to, to, to Tokyo and to uh, Brussels or Zurich for business meetings. We can now use Zoom and do everything online and save a lot of money, a lot of time. And given the fact, I mean, the travel industry, how about tourism? I think I had written that down, but apparently not. But tourism is another thing that might be hurting for the next half decade. And then when virtual reality comes and we could put this big device on our head, what's going to happen then? You got it, guys? So to sum this up, you look at all these topics. If you were looking at these topics and you were hearing me throughout this video or throughout this podcast and you were at a loss in some of these topics, those are the ones that you need to research and become more, you, you need to dive deeper into some of these topics, whether it's a podcast, whether it's videos, maybe just taking notes down. Do free writing, 10 minutes, journal for 15 minutes every morning, every evening. Do free speaking, audio journals to help you build your knowledge in these specific... Guys, these, this is only like 15 out of maybe 15,000, all right? So again, it's you just developing and getting that index car and speaking about it. Climate change. What's going on around the planet right now? Okay, well, there are two effects of climate change right now. Deforestation, which I didn't write down. Now, deforestation, this obviously, and I think I had written it down up here in my introduction in my blog, uh, deforestation, what's happening in Brazil right now, okay? And then, of course, the prime minister point and blame, say, no, it's your fault, it's your fault, it's your fault. No, it's your fault. It's you, okay? Money over environment, money over life, right? We already know that. Then, uh, here in Thailand, deforestation in the north to build houses for very big people, very VIP people. Got it? But the thing is, people don't understand that Brazil's Amazon rainforest, okay, which extends into a few other countries, I understand, that houses a major the majority of the oxygen in the world, probably like 60%. 
All right. If that goes to waste, we are in deep shit. You understand what I'm saying? So understanding climate change, famine, flooding, tsunami, all these different topics. Do research on all of them so you could build that knowledge, so you could think quicker. Use this this little blog, this nice little essay, whatever essay that I will not essay, but this nice little podcast, this video that I've given you. Use this so you can develop your speed. If you get a card, I want two ideas that come, two ideas should come to your mind very quickly about that, about that specific topic. If it doesn't, we have a problem. You need to build your skill in that. That's a way to assess yourself. Do that over and over. Just get a bunch of random topics. You can find a bunch of them. I'm going to create something as a matter of fact for all of you out there. Okay. So Oh, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, wonderful uh, video. If you guys have any questions, let me know. There were a lot of people who have tuned into this. I just want to say thank you so much to Kathleen, Sana, Michelle again, uh, Emily, Anus, Rizani, all of you out there who have tuned in, man. Again, comment. Let me know what you think. If you guys have any questions, again, big fire sale coming up. What is it? Uh, Black Friday. Okay. So for those of you who are interested in online coaching, online classes, IELTS based speaking classes, all of that is available. Just reach out to me. Also memberships. If you guys want to learn to go because you already have established that discipline. Okay. So with that being said, man, I just want to say thank you guys so much. You guys stay tuned for more. And again, if you guys have any requests, comments, or any other potential videos to do coming up soon, let me know. I'll be here. I'm your host as always. Over and out.